Welcome back to Booze and where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards and it's great to have you here today. We're gonna make Mr. Pink. Now, I know when I think of that, I think of my favorite movie, Reservoir Dogs. It, of course, is made by Quentin Tarantino, and his films are absolutely fantastic for their dialogue and lesser amounts of action. In fact, the dialogue is usually so intense and so nuanced that it is, and they set a specific bar in the Hollywood scene. Now, having said that, uh, the cocktail itself was created by Kenneth McCoy of the Rum House in New York. And this is a bit of a sour, and it looks fantastic, so let's get into it. Now, as I was saying, this is in the style of a sour, and it does have six ingredients, so grab your shaking glass. And what we're gonna start with is a white rum, and I'm using Lamb's White Rum here. Use whatever you like best, and we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. All right, so we've got a very good base to build from. The next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of lime juice. So what we'll do is we will throw that on the ground like so, and then <laughs> cut this in Okay, maybe not cut this in half. Let me try this again. <laughs> cut this in half, and then we'll squeeze in half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now you can't go wrong with a hard to cut lime. It just doesn't want to give its juice up. However, what we are going to do now is use a little bit of a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And what I'll do is I'll put the ingredients in the method how to make this down in the description down below for you. But we need a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half milliliters. There you go. Next thing we're gonna do is use a little bit of pineapple juice. And we'll use again, a little bit of pure pressed pineapple juice, no pulp, no sugars added, but we'll use the same amount of a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. All right, now we have a little bit of that pineapple goodness that you just can't go wrong with. But, and I know what you're all thinking of, David, it's gotta be pink. So what we're going to do is use Campari. Now, this will give us a little bit of that bitterness that'll give us some new ounce flavor as well. But again, we're only using a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Look at that color change. Absolutely fantastic. Now, our next ingredient is an egg white. But if you're somebody that doesn't want to use eggs, uh, because maybe for whatever reason you don't want to use eggs, you don't like them, or maybe you prefer a vegan substitute, you could use chickpea juice. And we're going to use one egg white in here. Okay, so what you want to do is just put this off to the side like so, and that way you can use it for something else like buns or bread. But what we are going to do is we are going to shake this first because we are going to dry shake this. So make sure this is on good and solid because what's going to happen is you're going to get a little bit of pressure and shake it hard for a good 10 seconds. Yeah, pop that off like so. And what we are now going to do is we are going to grab three ice cubes and we want some one by one cubes. And what this will now do is this will chill it down and give us a little bit of that dilution that we need because we don't need a lot. So make sure you have a very good seal on here and then shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with a strength of a thousand limes, just like so. And what you're going to do now is you're going to serve this in an up style. So we're going to use a nice fancy coupe. Now, to make sure that we get the best cocktail possible, we're going to fine strain it, which will help give us a tighter bubble structure like so. And now is it actually focused on me or is it focused? Yes. Oh yeah, look at this, absolutely gorgeous. You get a very light pink color, you get a beautiful, tight, foamy structure on top. Let's give it a smell. So immediately you get a little bit of pineapple, but you get a little bit of Campari. And you know those two flavors go really, really well together. But it's a very muted smell. Oh, that is good. Mm. The Campari, it's there, but it's not overwhelming. It's muted a little bit or dampened a little bit, I should say, by the egg white and the egg foam but you get just that hint of 
lime and a little bit of that pineapple and sweetness underlying everything. It's not, it is very subtle actually. It's really good. You know, uh, I, I really recommend this. If this is a sour that you'd like to try, I'm definitely gonna put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified, especially when I make sours. You have a fantastic day.